we're not what we eat, but what our body can do with what we eat. So if we're eating foods and we can't break them down and utilize them, we're not experiencing the benefits of those foods. So the four nutrients that I really want to point out that are reliant on ample stomach acid are B12, iron, calcium, and magnesium. We can start to see some connections about how some of these nutrients are required for bone health. B12 and iron are two nutrients that are going to be related to fatigue. And then we don't want to work out. We don't want to do our weight bearing exercise. Those could have a tertiary impact on our bones. But then we get to calcium and magnesium. Calcium solubility is a prerequisite to calcium absorption and it's pH dependent on that gastric acid that's in the stomach. So the pH, again, is having an impact on our ability to eat the calcium and be able to utilize it. So we could be thinking, I'm eating calcium, I'm taking calcium, but if we can't convert it, we can't utilize it. And there we have that direct direct contribution to our bone health and magnesium as well. And that's a synergistic relationship. Low magnesium is another reason why we'll have reduced stomach acid and reduced stomach acid is going to impact our magnesium absorption. And magnesium is one of the most common depleted nutrients in at least the United States. So those are four key nutrients that are impacting our ability to utilize the foods we're eating that are also, besides the protein, going to be impacted by lower stomach acid. 